Hello everyone. I'm about to show you a demo of the new Mule agent that comes together with the Mule 3.6 runtime. In this demo, I'll show the basics of calling an API on the agent to deploy an application in Mule. So the first thing I'll do is show you this. This is the Mule directory uh, where I have my Mule instance running. Here you can see the file structure of Mule. I can look into my applications folder and find that it is empty. And I can also look at the configuration file for the Mule agent and see all the transports configured, services configured, as well as internal handlers and external handlers. For more information about the agent, please look at the documentation uh, that can be found in the mulesoft.org documentation website. So the first thing I'll do here is start Mule. And simultaneously here in another terminal, I will be tailing the contents of the log files of Mule. As you can see, the agent is starting. And now you can see that Mule has started. As you can see here, it says Mule is up and kicking. So um, I can look at the list of apps, which I have. And let me just do that again to show you that there's nothing there. But one powerful thing I can do in the agent now is call an API to check what applications are deployed. So I can go here um, and I can just say the IP address colon the port that the agent is um, exposing itself in. And I can just call a get request to it. And as you can see, there's no content. I can go back here and deploy an app. And in Mule, deploying an app is as simple as dropping a zip file into a directory. So I can take, um, I have a hello world application, which I can drop into my apps folder. And as you can see, it's there and um, if Mule is running, what it'll do is it'll actually unpackage that and deploy the app. So as you can see, the app has been unzipped and now the app is fully deployed. Going back here, I can call the same request again and you can see that now there is an actual application deployed, right? And it even says the state of the app. As the app was deploying, um, you can even tell or you will be able to tell the different states that the app is in. Now, I can go further, right? I can actually go and deploy an application using an API. So what I'm doing here is I'm calling a curl. Um, I am doing a put um, and I'm specifying a certain file called agenttest.zip, which is actually another application. And I am doing that to this URL, right? So this is the URL that I'm calling. I press enter and as you can see, um, the app will start deploying, right? So then I can call this API again, and you can see here that the agent test app has been deployed. So I can go back, look at my apps folder, and here it is again, the agent app has been deployed. I can really also do a curl here. Um, and since I'm running on my local host in this particular console, I can do localhost and get the exact same results that I found by calling it within my web browser. So that's it. I showed a really quick example of how to deploy apps using an API and how to query the deployed apps also using that same API with the new Mule agent in 3.6.